the eclipse, bitch! So here's the deal, it's like 2.30 right now and apparently this is like the peak of the eclipse. I don't even know what any of this means, but I'm about to go outside and ruin my eyes. <laughs> I'm like a legit out of breath from 15 steps. All week in the news they've been saying that if you look directly up at the sun with your naked eye, you will go blind. But I think it's all a scam. Those glasses that they're selling, they're like $1.25. They just want to make a quick billion dollars off of everyone. I'm not doing that. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to look at the eclipse. And we're going to see what happens. One, two, three. Let's do it. Holy fucking hell. Okay. Turns out that the sun is still bright as fuck. Uh, I didn't see an eclipse. But it's a giant fireball in the sky, so it hurts if you look at it. I gotta go back out. I gotta get a second look at this thing. Ah! Okay, that was way above the daily recommended amount of sun in your eyes. Still probably get a little if I just kneel right in the eye. Okay, see, it hurts, guys. It does. Don't look at it. My eyes are finally back to normal, but yeah, today was the eclipse. I know what happens once every 3,000 years or whatever, but I gotta be honest, I'm not that impressed. I just watched Game of Thrones last night, and it was fucking sick. The bar is set extremely high. I'm supposed to be impressed by a shadow? Of, like, a, a silhouette? This is what we waited thousands of years for? A shadow? Thanks a lot! And then this sunglasses scam, like, it's a dangerous shadow, okay? You get these sunglasses, you gotta pay a dollar twenty-five, and then you won't go blind. But if you look at the sun without them, you're gonna go blind. You're not gonna fool me. The government always wants a quick buck! And obviously that's not the case. I mean, I was looking at the sun, and I have bitch-ass eyes. I need contacts, I need glasses. If I can get through this, anyone can get through it. But let's just pretend that was real, okay? Let's pretend that if today you looked up at the eclipse, you would go blind immediately. You wouldn't give out these glasses for free, you greedy pieces of shit? That 125. Otherwise, go blind. Fuck you, I pay my taxes, are you kidding me? I have health care. I think. You know what the problem is? I just got my hopes up. That's the thing. Because the media was marketing this thing like it was the most dangerous thing to happen to the fucking earth. They made it seem like half the population was just gonna go blind today. Which I would have loved, by the way. Love chaos. I would have loved for half of everyone I know to become blind today. Just throw a wrench into the whole plan. I thought I was going to be able to walk outside today and just see hundreds of people just, ah, no, oh, with their eye, their melted eyes just in their hands, walking around in the middle of, uh, middle of the street, screaming like Nicolas Cage in Vampire Kiss. And no one's going to love this more than my father. He lives in North Carolina, so apparently he lives in the path where it's like nighttime during the eclipse and everywhere else it's like daytime obviously but during the path, like in the path, it's nighttime. He lives in that. I can't tell you how excited this man is to go blind. If he went blind today, it would be the greatest accomplishment he's ever had in his entire life. This is a man that has a top five list of natural disaster deaths that he wishes happen would happen to him. He has a list of top five th Are you listening to what I'm saying? He has like tornado, tidal, tidal wave is number one. He wants an asteroid to hit the water and then a tidal wave, like in the movie Deep Impact, just to hit him and that's how he goes. That's literally his first one. That's, t that's number one. I think earthquake is in his top five, a tornado's in there somewhere, but this eclipse would make him very happy. If he went blind today, I'm pretty sure he would he would be bragging about it, like he'd be psyched. And I made the mistake of asking him when I called him, I called him and I was like, hey, are you getting those goggles so that you can watch the eclipse? Big mistake. He was almost shocked that I said that. He was like, wait, 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 wait you kidding me? Joe, that's government horseshit, okay? That's bullshit. And that's when I realized that I'm gonna have a blind father, which is totally cool, that's totally fine. Dad, I know you're watching this. Well, maybe not watching any, you're listening to this because you're blind now, but uh, I want to let you know that it's not the eclipse that made you blind. It's the fact that I know that you've been staring at the sun since 8 a.m. when it came up and you're watching it throughout the sky. That'll make anyone go blind. You think I'm joking, but I'm serious. I know he's got a lawn chair that he put out into his front yard and he's been sitting there all day just watching the sun because when he hears about like a a meteor shower or whatever, he gets his chair, he sits out there at 4 a.m. and just watches the meteor shower. This is another one of his top five. He wishes a comet would just come straight and hit him right in the face. He's said that before. He's like, I wish it would just hit me, right? <laughs> the guy's a loose cannon. But anyway, enough about that. I gotta get dressed because 
Uh, I am heading to a Billy Joel concert tonight. Huge Billy Joel fan. My entire family loves Billy Joel. So for my mom's birthday, which was in May, I got her tickets. Well, I got all of us tickets. So me and my family, we're gonna go to Billy Joel. I think we're like in the third row or something crazy like that. I can pretty much guarantee that my mom's gonna cry. It's gonna be sick. Uh, I'm gonna vlog it because I am contractually obligated by SeatGeek to vlog it. <laughs> I, I wanna have it as a memory anyway, so thank you, SeatGeek. Who, by the way, I hung out with. Uh, I, I, where, where the fuck was it? Oh, I was going to the Logic concert that night, and I met up with a bunch of people from their office. They're fucking awesome. But anyway, uh, what the hell was I saying? No idea. Does, he, does the eclipse make you dumb? Because that's all I feel right now. I can see perfectly fine, but I feel like I can't remember shit. Oh, I gotta get changed uh, and get ready and head into the city, meet my family for a little pregame at a bar, and then head to Billy Joel. And I gotta shower again because I've been, so, I, I just yell, I don't know why I'm yelling. Why am I yelling? Once I start yelling, then I start sweating, so now I gotta shower again. I gotta redo this whole thing, that I, whole routine that I did this morning. All right, so I just got dressed and I'm walking out the door, but I want you guys to see my outfit. As you can see, there was rips in my shirt, and there's rips in my knees, and I'm wearing Yeezys, and this is the most internet fucking outfit there is, but I haven't done laundry, so this is all I got. Not that these aren't nice pieces of clothing, because it's not like, oh, this is all I have. My Gucci's in the, like, in the cleaners. No, that's not what I'm saying. But all I'm saying is I'm not happy with this outfit because there's way too many rips. You can't go rip shirt, rip pants and shit, like too many rips. But it's all I have, so I have no choice but to go double rip. You should never double rip. Take it from me. My family is gonna flame me later. You're a little Jersey today. Jersey Shore. There's Keith. Oh! <laughs> it's my mom's birthday gift. Tickets to Billy Joel. Can you tell me about your dream? Really, really did the dream where, for some reason, Thomas died. When I woke up from this vivid dream, I was completely naked on my floor, which is basically concrete. I feel like this happens too much. Oh boy. I'm basically on the stage ah! with Billy Joel. I dare you to run up there and just start playing. No, they'll throw us out. I'm not gonna I'm, actually do it, I'm you psycho. Slow down, baby child. It's so ambitious home that concert was amazing even though he didn't do my favorite song Miami 2017 Billy if you're watching this which you're not you didn't do Miami 2017 what the fuck but it was a great time nonetheless my mom had a blast which is the most important part it was her birthday present uh, but anytime that I go out my family is a blast so I had a great time quick shout out to SeatGeek for making this possible if you don't know what they are they're an app uh, where you can buy tickets to any event that you want. You want to go to a concert, you want to go to a sporting event, a ballet, like anything you want to, anything that has tickets, they have it. And it's very convenient. I buy all my tickets through there. Honestly speaking, I actually only buy my tickets through SeatGeek. And the coolest part about it is that I have a promo code. So if you choose to download SeatGeek and you're going to an event and you buy tickets for it, where it says promo code, when you go to checkout, just put in Joe, J-O-E, 
and you get $20 off, a $20 rebate. But anyway, um, I have to turn on the AC. Honestly, I, this is not okay. I didn't turn on the AC because I feel like the wind would have affected the audio for this clip, and I didn't want to fuck up the audio, but... Fuck this whole vlog. I need cold air. Here's the shitty part. It's almost midnight right now, and I have to be up at 5 o'clock to go to the gym, because that's when I'm meeting my friend Dylan. Uh... So I'm basically not going to sleep. Tomorrow morning when I wake up is going to be a nightmare. It's going to be terrible. Um, so I'm just going to go to bed now. And I'm going to shut this camera off. Okay? So that is all. See you next time.